Hey YouTube family, how are you? I'm just jumping on here. I've had some really interesting sessions the last week and noticing some energies really shifting and I wanted to share a little bit of what I've been noticing is going on and also what came out of one of these sessions. I plan to post a couple more sessions that I have recently done, just finishing up the editing and going to get it out there. But I think also what might be helpful is just that I come on here and give you guys a brief description uh, just so you know what's happening with these sessions. This particular session that I wanted to share with, which is really interesting, and it is, I'm now doing, initially I was just starting to do quantum healing hypnosis, but I'm now doing, I guess you could call it beyond quantum healing hypnosis, so it's a little bit of quantum healing hypnosis, a little bit of introspective hypnosis, and other techniques that I've learned to actually really fit inside there. And it's designed, or I would like to say the sessions that I do are really designed to support people wherever they are, and rather than have it be in this set way, it's really following guidance, following energy, following structure with what's going on with this individual, and really tailoring it to that person. So as a result, the sessions, as, as always for, I think, all practitioners are always amazing. Um, but something I've noticed is with all of these energies coming in, which many of you probably are aware, let me just turn my phone off here, sorry about that, many of you are aware of this shifting energy, we're moving in from the new earth, we're entering, well we're actually dancing between the new and the old as we speak, so we're really kind of dancing in between, and over this next year we're going to see a huge shift, a huge shift occur energetically. My experience in these sessions, and I don't know if other practitioners have experienced this as well, but it's almost as if the higher selves, the guides, whoever it is that wants to work with that individual, this particular person was Metatron. It's almost as if they want to come in a lot sooner. You know, past lives are amazing. It's really wonderful to get in there and learn from the past lives, and I never want to diminish that process because it's amazing. But what I'm finding over the last three sessions that I've done is, and it's all been inside of this new energy is that the individuals that want to come through and speak begin speaking in that first past life almost as if we're barely in the past life we're barely getting going and boom somebody comes in um, this particular session I did the other day Metatron came through the session previous to her um, the Galactic Federation of Light came through and they came through right smack dab in the beginning and I was like so are you wanting to have a conversation and they're like well not really and I said well but you're here so if you're here let's have a conversation so I'll be posting a portion of that uh, session that um, probably I'm hoping either tomorrow or sometime early next week so keep your eye out on that one but as an all as all of you know it's it's fascinating work I wanted to talk about this one session in particular because it was just fun her uh, past life she went into as a rock and she was a rock on a beach and she realized as the rock she was protecting all the little critters that were living inside and then at some point somehow a wave kind of toppled her out into the ocean and that was really dark at that point um, her higher self wanted to come in, higher self that was working with her or the higher guide that was working with her that day was Metatron. So it was really cool to speak with Metatron. And the whole purpose of showing her that life is a rock was to really have her understand what her purpose is right now in this transitional time. So what they were saying is that because she was the rock and protecting, that her purpose during this ascension time and this, this shift of the new earth and the old earth was really to have her gain full awareness of her uh, gift of protection and protecting those that she can. But how she protects them is, and it's not so much a protection energy like something's wrong, but it's almost like this nurturing energy like come in, come into me and let me hold you through this time. And so her purpose during this ascension time was really about love and generosity through hugs and her energy through hugging people. So it's like this protective, nurturing space. And a lot of her session was about this nurturing space that we could bring, you know, that she could bring the people that are around her in to. So it was really beautiful. Um, what are some other things? Uh, there was also a profound sadness that came up for her. And the sadness that came up for her, which was really amazing, 
is that um, she felt, although she knew that she was this protective, nurturing space, she felt that she couldn't, she, she wasn't doing enough of it. She wasn't doing enough of it for enough people. And Metatron was like, no, 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 no. We, we are sending you exactly the people we, we want you to be sending. Do not be fearful. Do not be sad. Because especially inside of this transitional time and this transitional state, you know, as some of you may or may not know, but as some of you know, the decision has been made. Those of us souls that are going are going. Those of the souls that are not going are staying. So it really gave her some peace, some peace and understanding that, you know what, all those that are around her now or those that come to her is enough. There's nothing more that she needs to do on top of that. So it was really kind of cool. One of the other things that they told her to do or he told her to do, which I really loved, is he wanted her um, to spend more time in nature. And he specifically said, he wanted her to sit in nature to listen to nature's playlist. And I was like, wow, nature has a playlist. So then I said, well, so what's the, what's the number one song on nature's playlist? And they said, the Cardinals. <laughs> And so I was like, that's awesome. So, uh, you know, because it was the birds was the playlist and the sounds of nature, but the number one song was the Cardinals. So she has these Cardinals or one particular Cardinal that's always hanging out in her yard. And so it was really funny. So she's like, oh my gosh, that's amazing because that Cardinal comes all the time and it gets really close to her. So it was really beautiful that for her, that was almost as if that spirit's guidance for her is to be in nature. And they specifically told her two hours a day was what they wanted. And so we did a lot of other energy healing. I really wanted to share with you guys just some of the things that occur. And I know if you follow any of the other uh, people that are doing quantum healing hypnosis, I'm sure you hear amazing stories. And it really is awesome. So if any of you out there are interested in a session, I encourage you to come check me out. I am at Heart Healing adventures.com. Oh my God, totally forgot my website there. It's like, deet. <laughs> I'm at hearthealingadventures.com. I do remote sessions. I also do in-person sessions. I'm in Austin, Texas, but I also do remote sessions through Skype. Um, they work just as good. You know, it's the same. We get the same benefits, the same energy. And as I mentioned, I really am wrapping in uh, the quantum healing hypnosis, the introspective hypnosis, the beyond healing, quantum healing hypnosis is just a gamut of techniques all wrapped in one, really to serve you. It really is to serve you, depending on where you're at, what you're needing, what you're requiring. And I really listen to spirit, your higher self. I pull in both of our highest and purest teams and we go from there. So I just wanted to share with you a little bit of came out of, uh, or a what little bit came out of the session that I did uh, a few days ago. I will be posting the Galactic Federation of Light session that will be coming up soon. So keep your eyes and ears out open for that. And what else can I share? I think that's it. I'm just really excited. Thank you to those of you who are subscribing. Definitely send these out. If there are people that you know that would be interested in these sessions and want to listen to them, have them subscribe to my channel. Send out whatever videos that I have posted. And um, we'll also be doing some more. We're getting ready to kind of revamp what's happening here, here at Healing Adventures because it's really moving and shaking and shifting. So I'll keep you guys posted. We will keep giving you information on the sessions that are happening. But I am wishing all of you a blessed and amazing, amazing, amazing week. And enjoy the shifting energies. Okay? Take care. Bye.